Hi, this is Ahmed from Integral Audio. Our channel is focused on audio and music production. Please subscribe if you are interested in this sort of content and don't forget to check our website for more in-depth reviews. In this video, we will have a look at a very interesting and versatile tool from Isotope. It's not just one plugin, it's a collection of tools that is comprised of pretty much anything you would need when it comes to vocal and instrument recording. There is a specialized tool for each purpose, including de-esser, a de-hum, guitar denoise, spectral denoise, voice denoise, and more of them. Covering or reviewing all of them will take a very long time, so to keep this as short and as informative as possible, I'll focus mainly on the tools you would usually use to get flawless recordings. So let's get started. We'll have a look at guitar denoise. This one has three options which are removing guitar amp noise, removing squeaks which are typically heard on a classical guitar, and then the pick noise which is um, maybe from the pick itself on an electric guitar, or a finger style guitar with the sound of the nails striking the strings. It didn't entirely remove all of the noise in these samples. I heard some other plugins do better, like Waves Noise Suppressor which we reviewed on this channel before. But this is still somewhat acceptable because the noise was generally not too distracting, and especially on the high gain guitars. Um, on, on, on high gain guitars, the noise would generally blend in and add more aggression to the sound so you don't really want to remove all of it. But you might want to use a noise gate in your chain so whenever the guitar is not playing, there's no noise coming out of the amp. As in for the squeak removal, um, it kinda introduced audible artifacts, 
I tried to really decrease the sensitivity and all the processing I was doing, but still just sounded weird and maybe this example was just too extreme and it was just better all around to record something like that all over again. We'll look at spectral denoise and voice denoise now. You could use either of these for many scenarios, but I personally tend to prefer one over the other and let me tell you why. First thing is real time. Voice denoise is going to be better because it's more efficient when it comes to CPU usage. I also like to use voice denoise when I have variable and somewhat complex noises in the background like people talking around me in a coffee shop or traffic that's coming and going. That's because voice denoise is able to better isolate dialogue and you could also use spectral denoise but it would cut some wanted signals and it would be just much more unnecessary work. But in case you have constant and consistent noise profiles like buzzes or humps coming from your preamp, you can achieve good surgical reduction with spectral denoise. And anyhow, I'll personally use a combination of different plugins to see which one give the best results like maybe waves noise suppressor and spectral denoise or Aiken Digital's extract dialogue with vocal denoise or voice denoise. And I would ideally have each plugin do a little work to limit artifacts and um, just have the voice be as authentic as possible. There's many many scenarios and things to keep in mind when we talk about this but I wanted to give you a general idea and experimenting is always key to finding the best results. I am recording this on my iPhone right now. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there is probably some hissing coming from my microphone as well. So yeah. Here is a very simple recording with my mic. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there is probably some hissing coming from my microphone as well. So yeah. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there is probably some hissing coming from a microphone as well. So yeah. So right now I'm in a coffee shop. It's not so many people around me. Maybe just some ambient noises from the um not from the machines that are in the um, in the coffee shop. So right now I'm in a coffee shop. It's not so many people around me. Maybe just some ambient noises from the um, not from the machines that are in the um, in the coffee shop. Not more than that. It's kind of um, too quiet for a coffee shop to be honest, but yeah. So right now I'm in a coffee shop, it's not so many people around me, maybe just some ambient noises from the um, not from the machines that are in the um, in the coffee shop, not more than that. It's kind of um So right now I'm in a coffee shop, it's not so many people around me, maybe just some ambient noises from the Oh, hey, there is orange soil. 
Well, don't move it till I see it. Oh, hey! There is orange soil. Oh. I like how the entire process could be simplified by using merely the threshold and reduction sliders, or it could be more advanced especially with the spectral denoise. This process could be really taxing on your CPU though, so it's something to always think about when you take settings to the next level. Because I really got some real lag towards the end with the uh, spectral denoise when I was taking the algorithm to more complex and advanced settings. However, the results were satisfactory as I said, and even the old recordings sounded good. You would always get the best results from denoisers in general if good recording practices are followed, either with instruments or with vocals as well. It would just make things easier on yourself and really help you get the most out of it. So, there you have it. I wanted to show these three tools for this video. Maybe you would show the rest of them in other videos as well. Let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and I really hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.